we just sort of realized as the music kept on evolving and changing, the live show kept on evolving and changing. And uh, we also realized, you know, sort of the more compact you can make it, the easier it is to tour, the more you can get around and you don't have to rely on like managing five different people with different schedules to like put a live show together. It sort of evolved into what it is now in the last couple years when we started collaborating with a lot more DJs and producers internationally. Can I pet your dog? Can I pet your dog? No. Oh, all right. <laughs> Shut down. Shut down. Going from that first setup of like five people on stage, then we eventually changed it. So then we went electronic with the drums. So then a couple of years ago, we got the opportunity to go on tour with this uh, DJ duo called the Funk Hunters. It involved a lot of, uh, you know, travel, like long distances, flying in and playing club shows. That's how it's done. Four guys and all the gear, one mini -man. So we developed this hybrid set, which was just the two of the guys on stage. Shaddy still playing percussion, singing, playing keys, doing everything that he's always done. But the biggest change was introducing the, the turntables to the mix. So we designed that set for that tour I think it's probably the most suited to the style of music that we're making today. We started working on this record about two years ago and we wanted to collaborate with as many people as we possibly could that we thought were fucking cool and dope and had just good vibes. An important thing for, for this record because this record is like it was all about that. We wanted to collaborate with people. You know, we have so many features on there. Working together with other artists from fucking different countries and, and creating art. It's allowed us to diversify our writing abilities, our like kind of teamwork, like just, you know, production abilities and just kind of like get out of our comfort zone out of, and out of the box and work with other dope ass producers and make music that way, you know? Pretty much what kind of brought us here today. I think if you look at a lot of the collaborations we've done internationally with different producers and stuff, Unanimously, when we got those beats sent to us, we all looked at each other and we knew instantly. We were like, this is a dope beat. And for the most part, when Chatty freestyled the melodies right away, it just like clicked. Like everybody was really into it. So one of those groups were uh, Just Kidding. And I can't remember how we originally started working together, but either it was someone reaching out to the other online or whatever. And then anyways, we did a song called My Life. They're pretty good online and people really like that song. It's probably one of my favorite songs when we perform. Now fast forward however many years, now we're here in Brighton uh, and we're working on some new stuff in this crazy beautiful home. What like what if over the drop like if it was just like two syllables for the first like first mm -hmm. half? So, yeah, so it'd be like do da 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 but I think what's cool about collaborating with different people, especially on an international level, is you sort of get all these different flavors of like music that you would never be able to like do yourself. You know, people sending you ideas that are really inspiring that sound nothing like what you'd be able to create on your own. <laughs> You're snoring, bro. You're doing the wasp snore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We just, we just, now we just need like a verse. Like, we just gotta come up with like yeah. When your videographer is playing down guitar on the song you're doing.
I think with this record, what was really cool about it was that when you sort of drop your ego as far as like, I think my ideas are the best ideas or, you know, what I think is good is sort of like the direction we should go in. If you get rid of all that and you start to accept that other people's ideas are equally as good or can be like better than what you do, you start to create better music, I think, because you just become a more open individual and the songs sort of go in a different direction. We did a song called Pleasures with Jafong. It's the title track off the record. Well, and then we were trying to come and, up with a name. And, and then he was like, well, Thriller had Thriller, and it was called Thriller. Yeah. And then we were like, well, Pleasures. It had Pleasures, had, and it's called Pleasures. It's called Pleasures. <laughs> and, and it's better than naming it, like, you know, Dirty Radio 3. He wasn't supposed to be a record at first. He was like, let's do a five-song EP, or let's do, like, a, you know, ten-song thing. And then it just kind of, like, we, it, just evolved, it just kept going. Why is it called Pleasures? It's called Pleasures because when you listen to it, it makes you happy.